we would like to get started with our very first Big Boss Lady, Simone. Welcome. Thank you, Petro. Good to have you here. So for the audience, Simone has a very spectacular resume. She is a consultant at Egon Zinder, and um, there she is responsible to find top management and board members at the largest companies globally. So if you are interested in becoming a board member, <laughs> have your business cards ready, and she is your wing woman. <laughs> So she searches for top talent, um, but she also assesses talent, develops people um, in, in her role at Egon Sander. She is very active because she is a former lawyer in Egon Sander's legal compliance and regulatory practice, but that's not enough for her. She also is very involved and helps her clients how to increase, how to increase diversity and inclusion in their companies. Prior to joining Egon Sender, she worked at various top-notch law companies. And um, before that, obviously, she holds a master in law at, from University of Fribourg. And that with summa cum laude, <laughs> really good. Um, a master in law was not enough, so she went to the US and did an LLM at University of New York. A challenging job is also um, is good, but you like the challenge. So <laughs> in her spare time, she likes to climb the steepest mountains and do surfing in tropical regions. Simone, it's so good to having you on stage. Thank you very much, Petro, for the kind introduction. You make me blush. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so great to see so many uh, female and also some male faces here in the audience. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, it's a, it's a great pleasure. So good to have you here. So on a scale from zero to 10, with 10 really good, zero, not good, <laughs> how do you feel at the moment? Like an eight. Okay, good. <laughs> the two points missing because I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So at, uh, at the end, it's going to be hopefully a 10. Uh, you like surfing. Yes, what do you prefer more, surfing on the waves or kite surfing? Surfing on the waves. On the waves. With which CEO would you love to have dinner with? Oh, that's a big, uh, difficult question. M needs to be a female CEO. <laughs> Simona Scarpaleccia. <laughs> Simona, great. <laughs> um, you work in executive search, so which type of candidates do you wish that you would have more of? Truly high potential candidates who can do any role at any time. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> cool, we have 150 people here or more, so great. Um, the audience is very interest in, interested in getting to know you. So you always worked in male-dominated environments with very few female role models around you. What did you do in order to discover your own voice? Thank you for the question, Petra. Um, and this was actually one of my biggest challenges. Um, when I started, I studied law, I was, uh, we were, 50% female um, law students at the university and then out of a sudden I started uh, working in a law firm and I was uh, surrounded by mostly male colleagues, by male superiors and also mostly male clients um, we interacted with. And I realized that I started to assimilate, I, I, I started to, I wanted to sort of unconsciously blend into this uh, male environment and I felt that I was not very much uh, comfortable with showing my feminine side and when you uh, uh, when I would were to show you a picture of that time you wouldn't recognize me so I was <laughs> I was not blonde I was uh, wearing like black hair and always you know uh, up in a tight knot um, not really being myself and um, then I was obviously very ambitious. I wanted to become a partner in one of these law firms. And uh, after I studied in New York, I came back to Switzerland. I thought, okay, now I really need to give it my all that I will reach this um, career goal at some point. 
And then I decided that I would um, hire actually a coach in order to help me in uh, uh, achieving this career goal. And back then I was roughly 25, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 27 to, to 28. I did not really realize what a coach actually is and what he or she can do to you. <laughs> um, and so I started with this coaching process and the, the coach obviously very soon realized that I had a huge issue in show, not showing my, my feminine inside. And then uh, it was probably in the second session and I rem remember it very vividly, he, he asked me the question, do you sometimes feel uncomfortable being a woman in your profession? Do you sometimes even feel ashamed being a woman in your profession? And I answered these questions with a yes. And when I answered this question, tears were really starting. I was really crying. Um, and that was a huge, huge turning point in not only my career, but in my life, because I started to realize I tried to be someone I was just not. And I started to realize how much of energy I invested in trying to be more like my male bosses, in trying to be more like my male clients. And I realized with that energy, I could have yeah, it could have used that energy in much, much uh, more productive and efficient and also more joyful ways. Oh, thank you for sharing that very personal story with us here. Um, with regards to the professional side, you always knew exactly what you wanted. You wanted to be financially independent. You definitely wanted to work. Um, what would you recommend the audience? Maybe some people don't have this North Star that clear as you mm -hmm. had it. Mm -hmm. How do you find it? I think I had this already as a child. For me, it was just clear. I want to have this independence. Um, and for those who, who don't have this clarity, um, what we do a lot at Egon Sender um, is to reflect on what is actually our purpose, what is our identity. And it takes just a lot of self-reflection and taking a quiet moment space and time where you are on your own, where you feel comfortable and start to reflect in 10 years from now, what would I like to be? How should I feel like? How should my surroundings feel like? And then start to dig a little deeper into whatever comes to, to your mind in these moments. All right. Thank you so much, Simone. Thank you very we much. We will hear more from you in a second on the panel. Thank you. Thank you.